that have been working through the night and into this morning using everything from chainsaws to large scale frames to rip, sweep, and remove debris from the roads, trying to make them drive. Here on Camden early this morning, city workers getting this tree out of the roadway so local patients could get to this clinic and get to their dialysis appointments. A lot of water on the floor. That seems to have drained out quite a bit. So I feel very, very, I'm feel very blessed. <laughs> Could have been a lot worse. In other parts of the city, local businesses feeling the impacts of these storms. Dan Lee tells us his company's roof was ripped right off the top of the building. I think the straight line winds got a hold of the lip and just rolled it right off from the west to the east. We've had over 178 calls where we've actually had so many calls we've come and we've had to cut and stack and then remove the debris out of the road and then hit the next location. The Transportation and Capital Improvement Department sending out their rapid response team to deal with the cleanup. In this situation, they determined that there may be a live wire here, so this becomes a CPS issue. Driving by, you might just think this is a heap of scrap metal, but if you look at the bigger picture, you can see it's a billboard that was toppled over. Yesterday's wind gusts of more than 50 miles per hour, so strong, it knocked this billboard off of its already rusted base. It didn't land on anything and no one was hurt. In fact, it just missed this church by inches. As for Dan and so many in and around San Antonio today, they just want to know when they can get their electricity back on and when they can get back to normal. So I don't know how long it's going to take us to get this thing. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.